Well, my name is Nia Dr. Boitaba. I'm the chairman of the Liberian Coalition of Human Rights Defenders in Liberia. Well, my, I envisage that within the near future, Liberia will be able to uh, foresee in an inclusive society where everyone's right is respected despite of your sex, orientation, and whatever person you are, you are respected and you are part of society. And I also would love to see where perpetrators of the war are prosecuted and we have a platform where everyone's right will be respected and Liberia will be able to conform to those regional mechanisms and the United Nations mechanisms as a member state. It started during the 14 years of civil war in Liberia, where people were arbitrarily arrested, constricted into the army, and where people were being tortured and killed. So I felt that it was a gross human rights violation, and there was a need to protect the rights of others. That's how I started my passion for human rights. He also, um, not specifically me, but my predecessor who is now in exile, who is seeking asylum. There was a point in case in time where we had a gay activist who was um, arrested. And when we went in his defense, we were threatened and by the government and saying that we're pro promoting gay activism. So that was a very terrible situation for us where we were threatened, arrest, and my colleague had to flee the country. That was, that was a moment that I can remember in our work. So my expectation is, is not just the literature, it's just not the narrative, but to ensure that and call our government to attention to respect um, the freedom of assembly and know that that is, that, is a, that is the right of people to assemble at any point in time and to talk about their common good. So we will be, Liberian being a member state of ECOWAS and the African Union and also a member of the United Nations. So we look forward to where those mechanisms will be able to make Liberia to fulfill this commitment. The system should shift a little bit then act from asking the government to and obey and implement, there should be some level of penalty, punitive actions must be taken against government to ensure that they conform to their obligation. Because merely telling government you have to conform to this, you have to allow freedom of movement, or freedom of assembly, it's not, it's not enough. You need to ask some punitive actions, so we would, would love to see that. Well, my own experience that I want to share with my colleagues is that in, when we have these um, issues in our respective countries, the first thing we need to do is to, to ensure that we absorb all local remedies so we should not allow intimidation to take us away from our work. And if we seek local remedy and there is no way, we should be able to at least get to regional and international mechanisms that will compel government to conform to our work. Mm -hmm.